So again, we're taking a look at uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 15. And as we look at this, we've, we've uh, looked at the fact that, uh, you know, of what the gospel is and how deep the gospel is. We've looked at the fact that the gospel is not just for lost people, but it's for uh, Christians and lost people. Uh, the lost people are saved by it and the Christians grow by it. And so we need the gospel within our lives. We need it declared to us. We need to preach it. Uh, we need to study it on our own and how important all of those things are and if you're lost and you hear the gospel you need to receive it and when you receive it Paul said moreover brethren I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you which also you have received you received the gospel when you heard it and you believed it and wherein ye stand he said wherein ye stand talking about standing in the gospel standing in the gospel message of Jesus Christ and you know it reminds me of that uh, old hymn that uh, you know we we love to sing, you know, upon this solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand. And that's based upon a parable that Jesus told the wise man came and the wise man uh, built his house upon the rock and the winds and the storm and all that came and the house stood, the house stood for, uh, f uh, firm. And then the foolish man, what did he do? He built his house on the sand. And so the wind and the storm and all of that came came and it washed the house away because he built his house on a, you know, a, a foundation that wasn't meant to last. It wasn't meant to stand. But friends, we stand on Jesus. When you've heard the gospel and you believe the gospel, then you receive the gospel. You stand up on the solid foundation of Jesus Christ and you begin to know that, the, that his foundation is solid. And because of the gospel, because of Jesus, then the storms can come, the rains can come, the winds can come, but that foundation is standing. Now, I survived Hurricane Katrina, and I remember, you know, uh, when Hurricane Katrina came, and we've got storms that are that, that are brewing up right now. One just hit Texas. Um, you know, by the time this video is posted, uh, one will have hit uh, Florida probably, and we don't know exactly what it's going to do. I'm sure by the time you hear this video, Video, you'll know what it's done. But I remember Katrina, man, nothing but slab after slab after slab that was left. But guess what? The foundation remained. The slab remained. And so as we look at that, Jesus will remain. And if we're standing upon Jesus, friends, we're going to have that solid foundation. It doesn't matter what life brings our way. It doesn't matter what kind of storms. It doesn't matter how hard the wind blows. It doesn't matter how, how hard the rain falls, friend. We're standing upon the solid foundation of Jesus because of the gospel. Because of the gospel, because of his death and his burial and his resurrection, Jesus has made that way for us and he has given us that firm foundation to stand upon. And because of the gospel, I stand firm and I stand strong, not because of me, because if I'm doing it on my own, I'm building my house on that sinking sand and friend, it's going to fall and it's going to fall fast. But if I'm standing upon Jesus, Jesus. He is the firm foundation and he is the foundation that's going to make me strong because of the gospel and because I received the gospel. See, the apostle Paul put it this way. He said, I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have entrusted into him, unto him until that day. He knows who he has believed and his name is Jesus. Then no matter what comes his way, and man, he went through a lot, didn't he? But even unto the end, he was faithful to Jesus, not because he was a strong man, but because his foundation was strong and his foundation is Jesus. Paul ends this chapter, 1 Corinthians chapter 15, with verse 58, and he says, Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in 
the Lord? How are we going to be steadfast? How are we going to be immovable? How are we going to always abound in the work of the Lord because of the gospel? And because of the gospel, Jesus laid for us the firm foundation that we could stand solidly upon. And friends, that's good news. Wonderful news. News worth sharing. So would you share this video so others can hear it and others can receive it once they believe it?